It's got to go. It's, You're going to be in that one. It's, it's not staying. No, it's, it's, not, it's not staying, but... But seeing that this is for a beginner... It's also not in good condition. that's interesting about um, the International Moth class is how interesting discussions can pop up. Yeah. Now, we've had a we've had an interesting comment on your post that you put on the World Class Association um, Facebook um, page. And the comment is from... Who is it from, Bruce? Uh, the comment is from Mr. Chris Brent <coughs> uh, in America. And Chris asks, can you do a show about starting out in moths in 2020? I.e., how would you go about it? Ponying up 15k for a boat seems optimistic. Yes. I don't think it is at all. Now, we love a challenge <laughs> here on Mothcast. Yeah. So, Luca and I took ourselves and we said, all right, there's um, three rules. Rule number one is we had 20k Aussie. Now, 15k USD works out at, at about 21 Tw- just under 22 but then yeah. you've got taxes and all that sort of stuff taxes and so, I guess freight if so you're not, buying a boat so, from overseas so, so we'll take away to, to, to get rid of taxes which state in America are you in are you paying yeah. GST or not yeah. we said okay 20k Aussie the other two rules I can only buy stuff that is currently on Mothmart or yeah, currently for sale or the Facebook yeah. Moth page. can't be stuff that was sold three months ago and you're looking it up now. prices so as listed Probably, and yeah, not using negotiating. Google to do yeah. um, conversion. I'm going to set it even a highest challenge to, um, I don't know, maybe to myself if I can make it. I think this boat is capable of being top 20 in the world. <laughs> I'm actually quite optimistic that it is. Okay. For 20,000 Aussie dollars. Right. So um, have we talked about now with boat work? Yeah. Oh, there's going to be a lot of boat. Okay, so like you will be in the garage for three months. Okay, so <laughs> so let's just be. Let's really not get this wrong. Labor is free. Okay, there's no. So labor is so getting paid a, for it's this. It's a home build. So <laughs> labor. There's no labor. There's no labor. But you've you got to pay for materials. You got to pay for materials, and and we will tell you where to get those materials. We will. It's, it's yeah. This this is Luke, really Lucas um, garage. That's that's where you get. I'm from. super excited because I've been doing this for the last ten years. <laughs> Trying this, to make an old boat. This is where we stay live. Stay current. This is where we live. <laughs> All right. So, who wants to go first? I will. I'll go you first. Go? I'll okay. Go first. All right. So, so what are you buying, Bruce? So, where, okay. Where are you so, buying is well. Box. So it comes down to the, okay, budget, 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 budget. And you can't build from scratch, right? When no, no, no. You, you can't, can't just go. Can't just go. Brand, I'm going to build a brand, brand new boat. Well, you yeah. can. But you've got to pay for tooling and you've got to pay for design. Yeah, so, but then you get into the whole no, thing of no, not no, no. doing proper tooling. But. So I can buy any retail part that I want, but I can't, if I could afford a new Exocet or a Beaker for 20K. Well, you've got your 20 grand budget. So I'd be let's, there. So let's, 20, let's, let's, go and, let's go spend it. Okay, so what I did is um, I went straight to Mothmart. I went current boats, searched from cheapest to highest. <laughs> yep. I had a look. And, and what, what did you what did you pick out as the the cheapest as the boat that I could find? Boat to get um, was in the other window, and it is a oh, hang on, pausing. So you just talk amongst yourselves. Um, it is. I don't think they can. I don't think <laughs> <laughs> it is a two thousand and six. Yeah. Axiom. Next sim, yeah. Built so by, built by Mark, Mark Cook. Cook. Yeah. And by AKA Mr. Ardbuck. It's a so V2, Axiom so much V2. better than a V1. Currently for sale by Mr. Jose F. Um, the boat is in, looks like it's in Germany, GER. Doesn't look that different to my boat. Three, eight, nine, <laughs> three. It? What, your current boat? Or yeah, my current boat. boat. All right. <laughs> so let's have a look at some of these awesome features that we have on this boat. Uh, well, it comes with what looks to me, I would say, it's an MSL 10. Let's see. Yes, I am right. It's an MSL 10. I mean, they're calling out a KA 10 from 2012. Good condition, little used. I'm sorry. I haven't have one of these sales at home. It's got to go. It's, You're going to be in that one. It's, it's not staying. No, it's, it's, not, it's not staying. But, but seeing that this is but, a for a beginner. It's also not in good condition. 
Yeah, it, so, it can't so be. it's old and it's flogged out. So yeah, <laughs> you know, if if I've never sold them off before and I want to sell to fall through, oh, if you're gonna, f- yeah, exactly. But in regards to meeting our performance goals, yeah, yeah, just not gonna cut it. Well, this is to start off with, and then clearly this boat's gonna be top twenty in the okay, world. Okay, so it's I'm got a, it's got a straight boom. Um, it doesn't say what brand. Um, if I need to, I will kink it. I have done it's it. It's got a before. tiller with rudder adjustment, which which is. Um, oh, okay. I didn't realize you cannot get that. Uh, is it possible not to get that? Get what? A, t- a tiller well, adjustment. Yeah. Well, it's going in the bin anyway, so I don't know. Okay. Um, it's a CST. It's a M three five three. Now, Luca, you're familiar with CST. M three five three. What does that get me bend wise? Uh, What's the modern medium, equivalent? medium three five one was the old um, CSD soft mast. Three five three was the next one up, followed by three five four and a three five five, which was the super stiff one. But problem with that mast, Bruce. Yes. Soft uh, tip. So this is back when we didn't have any turnaround layers mm-hmm. in the CST masts. So the fibers did not go all the way up and all the way back down again. They we'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I currently don't have a mast. It's going in, to be I too soft. Okay, so I currently don't have a mast in my plan, but I do have a build budget in my plan. Oh, so, look, you can do so wonders with money. The super budget option would be add uni to the carbon tip. to the tip, stiffen yep. it up, get my bend. That's the cheap way. And let's assume I'm doing that. However, if I manage to get my build... If I could use my build a bit cheaper than I currently have left over, then I could maybe sneak in a tow pro. Yeah. All right. What else do you get with your with your cheap? So I get a tiller. Wings are not removable. I get a tiller with rudder it adjustment. It will cost you ten grand just to get it over to where you live. No, it won't. Because you're going to need a container. No, it won't. Or you're going to choppy chop chop. You're going to chop the wing bars. Wings, cut them off. They're gone. Oh, that's so the wings great are great idea. Okay, the, so the wings that, that shit off. saves your shipping bill by ten grand. Right. And I could, could I could probably sell. Those carbon tubes to buy a cast case of beer, maybe. Okay. All right, okay. Um, galvanized steel trolley. You know what? That could stay in England as well to keep my shipping costs down as well. I'd rather I could just not. Yeah, give me a. I'll, I'll do the Keegan method and just use a um, uh, like a old mattress. Yes. The cover. Various accessories. Spare parts optional. Uh, so the boat has some modifications and improvements, like the deck layout. Line guidance, Vang, etc. But it's ready to sail. Okay, is, so you're buying this for important. how much money, Bruce? So that is 350 GBP. Great. Three, three and a half thousand. Three and a half thousand pounds. So Google tells me that I'm for up for 6,800 ish. So I'm going to call it 7K. 7, 7K Australian dollars. So that's my, my first. My first 7K, and I probably should have started somewhere else because that's in the middle of my calculations. So I'll work down. All right. So, okay, so you bought that. What, what have you done with this thing once you've gotten the owner to cut the wings before he shipped it okay, to you? Okay, so first thing we're going to do... Which he's I, horrified at. He so, probably doesn't want to talk to you anymore because so I've cut the wings you've off. just bought this boat I, I've cut the wings and you've asked him to get I've, an angle I've cut the wings off. So I need new wings. Oh, clearly. Okay, so interestingly, because AMAC is selling this lovely thing out there called the Mark 5.779, whatever it is, his lovely upgrade wing kit. The curved wing bars? Yes. The new ones. I'd love those. You can't afford Way them. out of budget. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, you've got no chance. So, but what that is doing, it's making them available, the old wings available in the used market. Of course. Because so, nobody wants something that's not current wants, anymore. So, but I do. What can you buy the old low wing bars? So we're talking not the old original Mark II ones with the high compression struts. We're talking the, the newer Ones with low compression struts. So what are they, I've got so many moth blind cell cell windows open. It's I just think ridiculous. you'll find three hundred and fifty pounds, Bruce. Yes, I will. So what I'm going to buy is I'm going to reach out to go. To, I'm going to hop in the car. In fact, it's between here at my house and yours. Yes. Go by Balmoral Sailing Club and pick up a used Mark II rear wing bars for three hundred dollars. Yes, each. from a. Sorry, one hundred and fifty dollars each. I think from my friend yeah, in Sydney. Me, sorry, I'm yep. not going to do this wrong. Let me find the post from Mr. Andrew Sim. He's got some very cheap wing bars going. He has some very cheap wing bars going. Let's go to the top. Free they are four hundred dollars each for Aussie the dollars, size sorry. and three hundred and fifty. This is even cheaper than the UK ones you found. It is. So I'm mm. looking at um, a total of eleven hundred. Price negotiable too. So really, that's being optimistic. You hey. might even get them for less. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, I'll. Let's just go retail, but maybe. Okay, so eleven hundred for the side and the rear bars. So now I just need some new fronts. Um, if I scroll down far enough, I managed to find a, another post 
of some slightly used Mark II front wing bars with no damage served by a Luisa Kruger um, in Hamburg for 350 euros, bringing my converted 565 Aussie, bringing my new set of wing bars coming in at the grand total of $1,675. Oh crap, forgot some tramps. Let's say 200 bucks for a set of used tramps. Is sure. that fair? Yeah. Track them yeah. down. All right, because we need something to fill the holes. Oh yeah. All right, so I've got my wing bars. I've got my hull. It's shipped out. So, um, and I need to do some work to it. So I'm going to allow some work. Three thousand dollars for materials. And how many hours to fit? We're not Mark counting our hours. Bars. That's part of the rules. But, but I'm sure people want to know roughly what you would spend in the garage to make these wing bars that are designed for a completely different platform fit. Okay, so what I'm assuming, all I'm keeping from this boat is the hull. Can I so, throw a spin in your works? No. You're going to hate me. What's that? It's not going to work. What's that? Oh, what? no, it will work. So, uh, I, so let me be clear what I'm planning here. I'm planning a deck chop. Yep. And replacing four deck. Wow. Bulkheads. Deck. That's why, I'm allowing, three, boat. That's why I'm allowing three greens. Nobody's going to go and, and, what, uh, and buy a boat and completely... But no one's going to no one's gonna buy a wing and just saw the, wing, saw the wings off it either. Right, to be clear... You could just sail this boat with the wings as is. This is beyond a guy that's just got into the class. The guy that's gone beyond the class. You're, you're already scared him. No, he's, but the, he's guy, the, guy, the guy that's going on the class would just not pay, not, not pay the wings, not pay the construction and sail with the wing frame as is. Fair? Sure, until right? it gets good. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. you can go your way. I'm not yeah, scared. Yeah, no. Sail as is. I want true, it to. True, true. Yeah. I do have some home building skills, so that's the route that okay. I've chosen. Okay. okay. So, doing a gut, um, doing that stuff. Now, Centerboard case. I might have to do some work there because I've also gone on to Mothmart. You're going to upgrade your foils? Well, I am. And I want to run a Swift Small. Mm -hmm. So the for the purpose of this challenge, the price that we have chosen for a Swift Small varies markets. Results may vary depending on when you listen to this podcast. Yes. So what, what price and what price are we Let's playing? say $3,000. $3,000 for a Swift yeah, Small. Yeah. So I'm grabbing one of those. Yeah. Um, there's a question here from James Curry. Does anyone have a Mark II front vertical for sale? Answer there's is, plenty of them out there. There is? Yeah. But there's none on Mothmart. Look, so, if you've asked hard enough, you know, I'm sure that James Corey has found one since 30th Or I January. can just find there's one of so your customers of that's there. buying a new vertical. Okay. Yeah. So, there isn't one on Mothmart, so I had to do something. The rules of the game has to be on Mothmart, has to be on Facebook. Sure. Right? Or new part. So, I've got to keep scrolling, got to keep scrolling. I had to buy a full Mark II vertical and horizontal. Oh, look, there's these nice shiny Just so you can get the vertical. Just so I get the vertical. Mm -hmm. um, but it is what it is. And that came out to the title of $1,276. And what horizontal did you get with that? I don't care, but it was but a... But you can sell that. Oh, I can. You but, can get 50 bucks back if it's... Oh, wow. Okay, so it is from Shuan Company Cross. Um, you get the 2.0 standard two, old school 2.0 standard, horizontal. but it has professional fairing and... Lloyd will be happy. Lloyd will be happy. It has covers. It's got covers as well. You know, they're worth something. Um, <laughs> but if the horizontal hasn't exploded from being left in the sun, you can probably get fifty bucks for that. So, okay. so you should deduct that off your total because you might right, need right. that. I have my horizontal, which I'm going to sell for fifty bucks. Okay, so I'll make it. I now have three thousand and fifty dollars lowered. Yeah. Awesome. You got three thousand fifty dollars. What are you buying for that? I'm buying foam, foam? carbon. Yeah, um, yeah. Foam. So I'm, what I'm what I'm guessing I'm going to have to do maybe a new centerboard case. Well, actually, definitely a new centerboard case unless it's massive. So I'm expecting new centerboard case replacement. I'm expecting and you're putting deck. a bigger uh, centerboard case in so you can fit a bigger. Yep. So, bigger so I'm expecting yeah. centerboard case. Yeah. I'm expecting and probably maybe move it as well. I'm expecting change the foredeck to make it more modern. I'm expecting uh, maybe a mask dump tube if I want to go beaker. Maybe some sleeving tubes to make the Mark II wings. Are you fit. moving the mast further back? Maybe because this mast is quite a long way forward. I think I say I probably this will. So, okay. probably nine hundred from the bow from memory. As I'm doing all yeah. that work, and I've got the deck off anyway, I'll probably move the frames, yeah. cut the frames out, or put a new frame in. Um, so basically, what from the shear line up? So four deck, deck, centerboard case. Cut. Yep. The, there's probably some rear frames I can keep. Um, so that is that. Okay. Next, 
I have a rudder. I don't have to go very far for a rudder. Because Mr. Bruce Cooper, hello Fly, my old friend. Uh, Mr. Bruce Cooper is selling his vertical and he is selling it for 1500 It's a 2.3 Mark II rudder vertical. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to have to do some finagling to use the old tiller and the control systems. Just, just saying that. Well, it did come with an adjustable tiller. So, yeah, you did. could keep that. It did. Um, and then we've got our rudder horizontal, which I'm buying. The rudder horizontal, again, just a Mark II medium anhedral that I found on Mothmart, not Facebook, mm -hmm. for 575 bringing that total to... 2075. Um, the, so I've got my Axiom, I've got my rudder, I have my wing bars, I have my center board, which I think has moved me to a second at the World Championship for. Sorry. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now it comes to sale. Now, if I can keep my build budget down to below 2K, I have 4K left. So I'd, what buy, are you north. Buying? I'd buy north. You're buying a north? I would buy north. Just in the foreground. But I'm going to assume that I don't. Right. Because, yeah. you know. So what I'm going to assume, what I'm going to do, again from Othmart, I'm going to buy a Lennon 3DM, which I have in a window here somewhat. So A3M? Sorry, a Lennon A4M. 4M. Good choice because that is actually apart from the... Um, Luff length, which was designed to the old rule, yep. same shape as an A5M. So you could probably find that um, the A4M is actually quite a good buy. Yeah, doesn't yep. get me a deck sweeper. No, but it's not a deck sweeper. Not a deck sweeper, but carbon batons and 3D cams. Yep. Um, <coughs> and suits a standard mast, so I could probably get a little bit by coming down. For sale by 17 Mika, and it's 750 euros, which comes pounds. Pounds, unfortunately, Bruce. Oh, it doesn't matter. I did mm. the right conversion. I didn't say it. I did the right thing. <coughs> sure. Uh, but it comes down to 1,940 Aussie. So. 1,900? Yeah. I think. 750 pounds? No. Yeah. No, it'd be more like 1,400 Aussie. Whatever. Oh, money. Oh, money in my Yeah, favor. yeah. You've got extra money. All right. So there we go. Um, but that's me done because I've got to buy a new <laughs> okay. cradle. So, so, we'll so call you've got a pretty competitive boat for 20 grand. So let's run through what I've got. I've got a. <laughs> what did you end up with? Well, I ended up with a. Axiom, yes. That I've rebuilt the four deck, yeah, and deck to be a modern style boat. I've got a now. Do you think I'm just going to put this wing package on standard? No, I'm going to chop the wing package up like Bruce Cooper has and put a bit of curve in. So I'm going to have a modern-ish sure wing package, sure, yeah. uh, Mark II wing package. I am going just, to just for those, the ones that don't know, a friend of our Bruce Cooper cut the front wing bars in two spots and curved them. Yeah, and then he broke them, and then he fixed them. Oh yeah, it, it wasn't going to be strong. <laughs> but, he, but, he, but he got the worries. So I'm going to use that. So have they Mark II style high wing frame, yeah. um, as opposed to keeping it level, running a standard older mast, maybe with a carbon there, um, running a swift small horizontal on a standard Mark II vertical. So I would say competitive front foil package, rear rear foil Mark 2.3 with a medium anhedral. If I want to go smaller, I can just chop the tips off. Um, so my foil package is a six thousand dollars single foil package. I think I'm going to do okay. I think you're going to do okay. Master and Sal would be better. Look, you still have a few things slowing you down. You've got a 2.0 centerboard vertical, which is a little bit fat. Well, I couldn't afford one. Big cord, <laughs> you know, a little bit. Yeah, look, you you, you you're not too bad. You've I, also I got a Mark II medium rudder, a bit large. You know, it's but okay. I can, but I can cut it down. Can I, you? Yeah. You can, is it going to be faster? Maybe not, but I can have it down. <laughs> All right. So not I'm going bad. To, uh, so, not bad. So while you run through, I'm going to do a quick some sums here. And then but while Look, I do that, I why don't you run through your you will package? find that that is going to be quicker than a Mark II you buy secondhand for 20 grand. All right. You're going to get overall a better platform and a better fall package and a better rig. But it's not ready to sell. No, there's 400 hours of boat work for your beginner that's never but we don't count those had hours. any um, experience so that's, so that's, in the moth class. So that's me. I'm on the table. Look, over I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit different. I'm, I'm going to assume that our newcomer to the moth class is from a laser background. And he does not know what hiking. carbon is. So you know, he likes he's hiking. Very, he likes hiking. He's going to do very well because he's fit. Uh, but he is ultimately, he doesn't want to spend... 600 hours rebuilding a boat. He, he just wants to buy